What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Ice Pie Carol YouTube channel. My name is Carol, and today we are doing another Space Engineers showcase video. And in today's video, we are looking at the Vengeance from the Space Engineers Colony Wars series with lots and lots of people. If I can get my spectator cam to work right today, and this was from a he, uh, one of the most more popular, well, not more popular, just from a series that I was, I've been watching. It did end sadly. It is for, it was with Captain Jack and a bunch of other people, and it was just a huge. It was a kind of a story thing, and this was their main capital ship from when in the second part of the season. So we will be looking at that and then testing. It's flight things and maybe picking off a couple of drones or throwing it against one of these beautiful ships. I have already tested this against the green base. As you can see, it just ripped it apart. Like, ripped it apart. And then uh, red and blue ship, I don't know where I put them, but they're somewhere. But as if we head to the front, it is... A quite a scary looking hole and this is um, a pretty modded thing it I do not have DLC but it is for um, DLC things like it, ha it has a couple of DLC blocks but those are only for decoration they are not the most necessary but if we start from the hole of the ship it is quite terrifying with lots of lots and lots of uh, Telon dual battery turret guns, which deal a ton of damage, along with a nice merge block and a bit of block detail all around. The exposed conveyors, I don't go anywhere. I believe they're just for detail. And if I sneak inside of here, you can see the automatic like welding system to fix it, fix this. But if we go around the side, you can see um, those guns I was talking about, and another, uh, battleship gun with three huge things and more, even more block tail. A little, not much, just, and there's a bunch of exposed conveyor junctions around here. There's a very faint gray line right there, kind of, I think, something like that. And then here, I believe, are more turrets, but those are mods I forgot to download sadly and even more guns this this is just lined with guns this was a huge battleship and if we just keep sliding down the side you see more guns with a little bit of block detail with those half blocks embedded into the other half blocks kind of um even more big turrets huge broadside cannons on the top and the bottom but we'll get to those in a second we have the air starport airlock where you can dock up to your base to refuel, or another ship can dock up to this to refuel. We have lots of block detail around these ion thrusters, and it is very cool looking. Even more block detail around here, and if we loop around the side, even more block detail. The Captain Jack really put a lot of time into this. Of course, his... uh. Uh, his YouTube channel will be in the description down below, so go check that guy out, because he is awesome. And, uh, hydrogen thruster, so the ship can go into atmosphere, it will probably collapse under the weight, though. So, I would not recommend it. Um, even more conveyors, probably, I believe they're for turrets I forgot to download. And, uh, more covered up thrusters. With the nice block work around it, really giving it a cover thing, and it really, it just, in my opinion, it looks so much nicer. Just, just in general, it looks nicer. If we loop around here, we'll see another, um, 
battleship cannon, but not main. It's just one of the things. I believe that's what it's called, just a battleship cannon. And if we loop or come around the back, it is more ion thrusters with four huge hydrogen thrusters and two more ion thrusters. If we go into here, there is a air vent that is not hooked up to anything, but just for, I would think it's just for a little bit of extra detail. And if we come around the top, we have the bridge, quote unquote, because it is not actually the bridge. I believe he put it there just for detail. And if we come around this side, we'll have more guns and just more guns. There is a connector up here, probably to hook up some smaller ships and they can enter through that door, which I believe will be the door we will enter through and hopefully we'll figure out how to get down because I have never figured that out yet. If you go around here, we have blast door edges on this, looking very fancy, with four antennas and a laser antenna, so this ship in building it in survival would probably be very difficult. We have two more main battleship cannons with a lot of hydrogen thrusters and block work around here, along with some more ion thrusters. And as, when you come around, we have more turrets, because this is a very turret t thing, if you come up front here, uh, we have some nice block work and a fake bridge that looks epic, but I must say, it looks epic. But it's not actually the bridge. The bridge is into the center of the ship. And if we come around here, if I can figure out my character, we have more guns, more guns, more guns, with some really nice block work. I like the f elevation, how it kind of, it like mimics the layout of the full ship. If you see what I mean, like it pokes out and then does the weird thing at the end. I think that's super cool, but I don't know if that's what um, the Colony Wars crew meant when they built this ship. Even more guns, I believe those are also for turrets I forgot to get mods for. And it's the same on both sides. Super cool ship. And if we come down to the bottom, we have... Guess what? More guns! Lots and lots of more guns. This bottom part was really heavily turreted. Because they didn't want any of the pesky little drone people coming under and just tearing out their insides. But this part would normally not be as exposed as it is right now. Because I remember I forgot to download this turret. There's not much upward thrust right here. Like, there, I don't, I, there's none in front, I don't think. At least I didn't see any. And back here, there's six more hydrogen thrusters and eight ions to really push it up. And uh, six more hydrogen booster thrusters for the forward thrust. And that will lead us back to here. So... If I take control of my character, we will hop into the ship. Do back here. If we come through this door, it will lead us to this. A big empty thing. I'm going to turn on my lights on. Oh, and this just leads us to nothing. Dang it. I was hoping it would lead to something. Well, I guess we can take the starboard airlock, because that's the one I tend to use. And it's just over here, nice and tucked away, surrounded by merge blocks. And I like the fact they they named their airlocks because it actually it makes it a bit more fan it makes it look nicer and it seems a bit more fancy. And there's an interior turret for any of the evil people trying to hack the ship. Um, if we go here, I I'm going to go right over there. Is a exact same thing we just came through. And as we walk over here, we have um, conveyors, and I believe this is just so you can fix up your ship a little bit. Uh, some gyros, lots and lots of gyros. The ship, I do not think is that maneuverable, if I remember correctly. And though is that is the, th I can't talk, that is the main reactor. Eh. I can't walk either. Um, I believe this is the same thing on the other side. Just a mimic. If we go farther up, there are more gyros. So I believe this is just like a repair system thing. But 
can you? We can. We are going to fit through this using our jetpack. And I believe that is about it. You over here. The ship didn't really have an interior. interior. <laughs> I can't talk at all. The ship didn't really have much of a huge interior, but it was very good at destroying things. If we go over here, we have another interior turret and nice decorated hallway. I like how they like how he added those little things. And if we open up maintenance, this leads us to hydrogen tanks, more gyros, and probably same thing on the other side. And if we loop back around here, we're going to ignore the CIC. And if we come through here, we have chiroprods and med bays. If we come through here, we also have more chiroprods and another med bay. And finally, if we come through the engineering section, we have um, more of those things. We have unloaded textures, which is super duper annoying. Um, more reactors. Uh, four jump drives, and the screens that just say online, I do not believe they are supposed to have anything in there. And more hydrogen tanks, and stupid unloaded textures, but I know I have that mod. Because this is a very modded ship. And now we get to head to the CIC and test out this wonderful gun and ship. Right here is a projector, I believe. And normally right here we would have a display table from the DLC pack, but remember I do not have DLC. And if you come over here, you can see in front they have blast doors to cover up those, blast doors to cover up these. And this is where we could have entered earlier, but I'm going to shut those doors and take a look up here. We have nothing around both these edges, they're just for detail. But I like the unfinished blocks, it looks very cool. And, yeah, it's just, it's a very detailed and nice looking ship. I was a huge fan of it. And hopefully I can see more of it in the Space Engineers Calling the War series. When they come out with their next thing. But if we take control of the ship and move them, I'm just going to start by moving my mouse around. It is a very heavy ship. You can definitely feel it. It is not the smoothest controls, but if we go forward, it is slow. Slow. Very slow. But I have the unlimited speed mod, but it is slow. Stopping is terrible and slow. Just, just, just slow. Going left is pretty good. Going right, also pretty good. Going up, not that amazing. Going down, that is really good. And... I press K, we can look up the main battleship cannon and control. Let us just turn this one around and fire it at this asteroid because I can't quite meet, reach the main base. But it's a very fancy ship. I am quite a fan. And the link to a ship download is down in the description if you wish to download and try it out yourself. I highly recommend you do. Um, Captain Jack's things will be down in the description as well. His YouTube channel and everything. Um, I'm sorry I didn't put this one up into battle. I'm just running out of time for this showcase video. But it's quite a nice looking ship. I am surprised at the. It is a nice ship. But last before you leave, I'm going to look up the 
vengeance and oh no vengeance and let's see how many blocks this way is and I, it requires dlc lots of mods those are probably in the steam workshop download it is 65,030 blocks it is massive and wonderful but thank you all so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell and uh see you all in another video